All right, fellas, so before we get into it, I want to quickly say that my servers, Curtis Arc, will be wiping in exactly two days on Saturday the 17th at 1 p.m. EST. For Season 2, we have a $2,001 cash prize for the Cluster Alpha. This isn't some store credit baloney, this is a legit $2,001 on the line here, and we recently paid out the winners of the Season 1 Cluster Alpha prize. We have absolutely huge things planned, and I couldn't be more excited for Season 2, so join up using the Discord link in the description or the pinned comment down below. I want to start off by thanking you guys so much for 80,000 subscribers. I'm going to keep this short because I don't want this intro to go on forever, but you guys have seriously changed my life for the better and I couldn't be more grateful. I just can't believe we've hit 80,000 subscribers and we're closing in on 100k, so thank you all very much for absolutely everything. Like everything I do on this channel, this 80k special is going to be a little scuffed. Basically, we closed in on 80k subscribers way faster than I could have imagined, and I kind of scrambled to put this video together. I have already released 4 videos on this wipe, so if you've seen them all, I will put a timestamp on the screen now that you can skip to for the new content. To those who haven't seen those episodes or are new to the channel, thank you very much for stopping by, and now we're finally onto the video. What is up fellas, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be back on Arcpocalypse, but this time we're playing on Wipe Day. I have big things planned for this wipe, so without further to be said, let's get started, and I hope you all enjoy. Alright, let's see what these servers are looking like. Hopefully, they're not all fully capped. Oh, dude, what? Alright, I thought these servers were gonna be, like, capped capped, but there's, like, nothing on these. Alright, well, let's... Whatever. Alright, let's just go to Lost Island. I think that's gonna be my best bet for getting a Maywing. Alright, so while I'm on Lost Island getting a basic kit prepared to go and tame some Maywings, I have one final announcement to make, but don't worry, I'm gonna make this one very fast. Literally. My server's Curse Arc, we're launching exactly 5 days. Curse Arc, we have a 4 minute trial and a space and a $1,000 cash prize for the Cluster Alpha. This is an actual $1,000, not a store credit only scam. We've disabled Shadow Means and 4 weapons, disabled Fed Suits working day 1 on Genesis Part 2, buff finals for the meta again, and so many more changes. I know many of y'all listening to this are playing on official, bored out of your mind tech pod all day, so come get some on Curtis Arc. Discord link is in the description or pinned comment down below, and now let's actually get into the video. So I started this wipe by hitting a tree, and then I picked some stone and wood off the ground, and then I made myself a pickaxe. After this, I learned some engrams, and I used the pickaxe that I just made to hit some rocks to farm some flint. That way I can make a hatchet and some arrows for my bow. Let's go, got some hide. Alright, so let's make bolas. Alright, I'm just gonna need stone. Alright, so now that I had a pretty basic kit crafted, we was starting to work on making some narcotics. That way I could get some Trank Arrows and knock out a Maywing. Oh, hello Mr. Giga. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run past you. You know what I mean? You can keep doing your, your Giga thing, I'm gonna just stroll by. Finally, a Maywing. Finally. I've been running around for 20 minutes. What level are you? 135? I don't know, that's going to take 10 years to tame on raw meat. Actually, let me see that. I'll dodo dex it. Let me see how, much, how long it'll take. Oh, you know, we'll knock it out. The dodo dex doesn't say that you can tame these with raw meat. So I don't know if you can even raw meat tame them. But I guess we'll find out. So go one here. Nah, this, dude, this is so annoying to do with the billboards, man. Okay, I think we got it trapped. Let me make more arrows. There's a T-Vex here. Come on, dude, you're not, you're not doing me any solids. Now, one solid is being done for me right now. Okay. Oh, that! Come on, dude. Leave me alone. There we go. Okay, so we'll eat raw meat. That's it, Mr. Raptor. I swear, you bastard.
All right, and now that we had the maybe knocked out and taming, it was time to work on making a saddle. So I crafted a thatch foundation and a forge to get some metal smelting. Oh, this is actually taming really fast. Okay, that's not. It's honestly not too bad. Um, problem problem that I'm having is metal. Honestly, I haven't seen any metal nodes, and I barely played Lost Island like at all. So I don't really know if there's metal spawns over here. Like there's a big mountain here, so I assume that there's metal, but I'm not really seeing any metal nodes, and that's uh, a little bit concerning. You know, I can just hit these little rocks here. And these little rocks actually give a decent amount of metal. It won't be too bad. Alright, there we go. We got 72 metals. So that's more than 30 cooked metal. And that is all I need for a Maywing saddle. And after a couple of minutes, I had enough metal to craft the smithy. Alright, the metal finished. Oh, we have 37 metal. That's actually perfect. So that gives us just enough to make a Maywing saddle and a crossbow. Okay, I got 30 metal left over. So we can make a crossbow. That is honestly... Like, that works out perfectly, man. That works out really nice. Let's go. We got the Maywing tamed. Level 201. Not bad. I don't know Maywing stats, but I will take this. Alright, so now I think I'm going to go try to find some pearls. And, um, yeah, try to farm some pearls. Or beaver dam. That is really nice, dude. 600, 700 pace. That's actually pretty pig. Here we go, boys. Let's farm some pearls. Alright, so these are going to be my last two uh, silica pearl nodes. We got almost 1,800, which is more than enough, man. That's like, how many? I don't know. I think that's like seven or eight auto turrets. So that should be perfectly fine for now. Um, I'm going to try to farm some polymer and oil next. Alright, perfect. So we don't need too much oil, maybe a couple hundred, if that. Okay, these would even give me oil. Alright, well trying to farm oil with stone tools isn't really, uh, isn't fun. So I got 70, 72 oil, that is more than enough for a fabricator and a little bit of gas. So I'm gonna hit a couple obsidian nodes, try to get a little bit of obsidian. And then yeah, we should have everything to make a fabricator and turrets uh, once we get to the uh, build location. Finally, man. Finally, dude. I got... How much obsidian? Uh, 48? And honestly, I'm fine with 48, man. That was so annoying trying to get that much with the stone pickaxe. Um, I really should have taken a second and made metal tools when I was at the smithy taming the Maywing, but it's whatever. We got a little bit of obsidian, enough to make one turret. And uh, yeah, time to head over to uh, our new base spot. Ooh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Timer's 13 minutes, but I will gladly take um, a flat helmet BP, even if it's kind of bad. All right, we found a mantis. That's pretty good. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of polymer out of this, but I don't really know because I'm going to have to use a stone hatchet to farm it. Okay. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, my God, dude. I love the stone hatchet. 84 polymer. Oh, that's four turrets. And with the, the obsidian we have, we can make five turrets with that. Oh, that's actually so huge, man. That's so big. All right, so after getting that polymer, I uh, went over to this blue drop. And I put my Maywig in upload so we could transfer off and go to the new server. I also put some of the heavy and valuable stuff in my upload just in case something happened.
So I spawned jungle south on center, and fortunately there was this white drop pretty much right where I spawned, so I went to go to it so I could pull the main wing and stuff out of my upload. And then I did this. Dude, since when do wild packies do so much torpor? Why did I do that? I should just bolt, man. That's what I get for being cheap and not wanting to use a bola, man. What am I doing? No, come on, dude. Not a f***ing raptor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I need to get stamina. Come on, Mr. Rock. Come on, come on. I'm, right I'm so close to my body. Oh, I think it fell off. Dylos, no! Oh my god, dude, what am I doing? Alright, got my body. That was so stupid, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I have, like, literally everything on me. Let's just get the main wing out. Okay, main wing. It's downloaded. Put a saddle on you. Uh, pull everything out of my upload, and then we're going to the build spot. Alright, well... Oh, man, I ruined one. Alright, well, before we go to our base spot, I'm gonna farm some crystal, because, uh, yeah, we're gonna need that. Finally, dude. Finally, we got 24 crystals so I can make a fabricator and a spyglass, dude. Okay, so if you haven't been able to tell by now, um, I am pretty bad when it comes to using a Maywing. I know it's like, oh, how are you bad using a Maywing? Well, I, I don't know. I, I just was. I say was because I think I'm a lot better now. But, um, yeah, I, I hadn't really used Maywings, like, that much for, like, tr getting around and transferring. So, uh, these next parts of the video might make you guys cringe a little bit if you're uh, a Maywing expert. Alright, so I didn't really think this through, and I don't know if the Maywing is going to be able to make this across um, to the floating islands. I'm going to try to get on top of one of these pillars here, and then if I jump from the top of this pillar, I should definitely be able to make the, the jump to the floating island. Alright, y'all, so we made it to the top of the snowy mountain. I couldn't get on one of those pillars, so yeah, we're going to try to jump from here. Uh, this is kind of like a, um, a risk it for the biscuit type situation, because if I fail this jump... It is a long, long trek to get back to the top of the floating island, so... Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, we got some good height. Okay, we make this all day. Not, uh, yeah, I think we make... Uh, yeah, 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 we make this all day. I don't even know why I'm chipping. We make this easy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me that this guy... Did that guy just... Dude, that's where... No way, did this guy just jump from my base spot? Or from where I want to build? I think this guy did. No, dude, please don't tell me someone already took this, dude. No way. Well, there's no way he has turrets up there. So if I can, if I can kill him... Then, um... Yeah, I should... I don't know, maybe I can break his foundations. We'll see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to cross you. Let's see, what's that? He has a PT. Can okay, we put a bag up here? I'm going to kill his bird. Is this thing even bloody? Finally. Okay, we killed it. I'm gonna try to put a foundation here. So let's go with... Uh, let's see. Now we have stone. 
that. We unlock the foundation. Kind of hoping that's his only dino. Yeah, we can get a stone foundation. I'm going to try to just put a foundry here so we can try to claim this. Not too close to enemy foundation. Okay, sh all right, I'm gonna have to try to get up here. This is gonna be really annoying. But, uh, yeah, let's try it. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I don't know if I... Th I don't think I thought this through hard enough. Not gonna lie, fellas. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up here with the main wing. I might have to go tame a PT. Alright, so, I think, uh, let's tame uh, an RG. I guess. Um, I'm gonna need one anyways, so we kind of hit... Uh, we kind of uh, kill two birds with one stone here. Okay, let me farm some narcs, make some arrows, and then, yeah, get an RG tamed. 50. I mean, that's not... I'm trying to find, a, honestly, a really low level. I mean, 50 is pretty low, though, not gonna lie. I don't know how much low I can get than that. Twenty-five, perfect. Level twenty-five RG. This is exactly what I exactly what I want. It's gonna be kind of interesting trying to knock it out though, because yeah, I, I think this level fifty is the best we got. Because at level twenty-five, just ran away. What? No. Why are you turning it? Come on. What? Come on, aggro me. What are you doing? RG, you good, bro? Come on, man. Come on, come, dude. Can my life just get any fucking harder? Come on, RG. Fucking, what are you doing? Why are you running? What, are, RG? Why are you running? I don't. I don't understand. There's no way you're high torp. Whatever, dude. I'm finding a new one. This is frustrating. Oh, it's knocked out. Okay. Let's quickly get some spikes around this thing. And then, uh... Yeah, thank God, dude. I need to learn spike. I need to craft these fast. Four. Perfect. These hyena are fucking tanks, man. Dude, if I get a prime meat, that would be so big if I could get a prime meat. Come on, prime meat, please. Come on, just one. I'll only use one. And no prime meat. Okay, we can make an RG saddle. Perfect. Take the free arrows. Okay, and the RG is over halfway. I'm gonna try the pike. Maybe the pike is the play to prime meat. Come on. Oh, that was a little bit disappointing. Alright, Archie's about to tame. Let's go. I'm really hoping this guy only has like dash foundations and I can break his little setup easy and put my own foundies down, but we're about to find out. Okay, so I'm gonna whistle this to follow me and I'm gonna bring the May Wing kinda close to the rat hole. Alright, we'll just park the May Wing here. Ah, uh, they're already here. I'm going. I'm gonna move you. Alright. Is that a little stone base? Okay, that's really annoying. Um, okay, honestly, this isn't going to be too bad to deal with, 
So, what, I, what I'm going to have to do is just make a cryopod, tame a, uh, an arthropleura, and then, yeah, just whistle the arthropleura in here and uh, break this stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put down a thatch found. Yeah, put down one forge, get a little bit of metal, some wood. We'll just put down forge here, get some metal going, because that's all I need for cryopods is just a little bit of metal. I need a little bit of oil. Okay, we can only make... I guess, you know, we can, we'll make two crop pods, whatever. kind of wanted uh, to save some crystal for a fabricator, but I won't even have enough. I need 15. Alright, two crop pods, finally. Alright, what level are you? 25. Perfect. I will gladly take a level 25. So I'm hoping I can throw this thing, um, I should let me put this back out here. Hoping I can put this thing in this body of water and tame it. I don't think that there's any piranhas or anything in here, and as long as I don't loot a beaver dam, I don't think the beavers will aggro me. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay, tame it. Okay, it'll be three feeds. That's nothing. What what did what did you aggro on? No, don't tell me you just don't tell me, dude. You idiot. Why would you do that? God damn it, dude. You're such a dumbass, dude. This thing is such a it's gonna die. Can I please pick? This game is so sh what the fuck, man. Alright, well now that we got the crop pods, um I can toss my RG in there. And, um, yeah, I can break their beds. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm just going to put some of this stuff away because it's making me heavy. And all the polyspoiling, too. This is, like, this is so annoying, man. I can't believe that. The stupid Arthur was one bite, man. One bite away. And I had to aggro, I had to aggro the beaver, man. One bite away. Actually, is Archie going to be able to fit through this? That's a good question. I know, shot. Oh. Oh, it's close, man. Let me see. Does that mean can I dismount and get over this? Man, dude. Actually, if I jump over here, can I get through this? Yeah. Pink coated. Well, at least I can break his beds. I can get on my RG, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's something. Oh, there's that. Okay. Sego BP. That's actually huge. Some electronics. Okay. Canteens. I was not expecting there to be any loot in this at all. PT saddle. Crystal. A forge. That's actually big. And here too. Yeah, I mean, there's really not that much, but there's something, I guess. Alright, well. I'm pretty much going to take all the resources. I only care about the armor. Um, the shield stuff. They can... I can just despawn. Same thing with this. I'll take this. I guess I'll take the saddles. Narcs. Yeah, I'll take everything but that stuff. Come on, let me on you. I'm spamming E. Alright. Let's move all. Alright, well that was actually a lot more profitable than I thought. Those psycho saddles are actually big. Even though they're barely better than primitive... I mean, it's better to have it than to not have it, right? Did I just hear someone land on here? Am I tripping? Yeah, I think I am tripping. Alright, y'all. I hate having, like, a super exposed little starting spot like this. So, I want to build... And the, uh, there's like a little, I don't want to call it a rat hole because the entrance is kind of big. But there's a spot next to the spot that I initially wanted to build in that I can put a little base in. And at least I can get like a turret or two up so my dinos aren't just in the open. And then we can work on taming an artho and uh, claiming the actual base spot. Alright, fabricator crafted. We can go set that up in the, uh, the new base spot. 
Alright, so here's a temporary spot. So, yeah. Pretty pretty decent sized entrance, to be honest. But it still isn't too bad early game. Let me kill this scorpion. Okay, so... Just take on this. Okay, so I'll put just two foundations down like this. Actually, I guess I'll do three. Do two forges here. I'm really not gonna care that much about <laughs> how it looks. Fabricator, I'll push you here in the corner. Smithy, hopefully you can place like this. Okay. Um, beds, place right here. All right, we got something up. Okay, please be able to move. Okay, let's go. We got everything. All right, so we should be able to get our first turret. Boom. Um, okay, so we got a turret and <laughs> no generator. So I'm gonna have to wait for this metal to smelt. But you know, at least I can put the turret down and it can look pretty. It won't be turned on, but hey, it's something, right? Oh, I got a level from that, nice. Boom, there we go, we got a generator. We had just enough electronics to um, craft the generator outlet and the turret, so that's actually pretty nice. Okay, we're going to have like 30 bullets. Alright, so honestly, I'm not going to be too picky about the gem placement. As I said, this base is just going to be temporary. So as long as I got the gen enclosed, that's really all that matters. Okay, I can put a wall on this. Let me make sure I can put a ceiling on it. I can't? Are you me? What? All right, whatever, whatever. You can't see the outlet anyway, so it doesn't doesn't matter that much. Come on, close the door, man. Oh my God, this is AIDS. Please, man. Oh, I had it for a second. Got a wall down. Let's go. We got a turret, baby. We're safe. Let's see. Man, that's so annoying that I can't place that, but whatever. That's... Man. Alright, so at this point, guys, um, I wasn't really too worried about claiming the initial rat hole that I wanted. I was more focusing on just trying to get established. I'm um, trying to get turrets up and just kind of having a place to call home. I knew if I continued to farm and continued to to kind of grind up and, and get rich on resources that even if those guys did try to reclaim the rat hole, um, I would be way more progressed than they would be able to and I'd be able to raid them easily. All right, so now that we had four forges, uh, the metal was coming pretty fast, but my limiting factor to make more gunpowder was charcoal. So I crafted a bunch of campfires and then I went and farmed a bunch of wood so I could get charcoal going. Alright, perfect. So we got the two metal. Let's make a second turret. So at least now, um, I'm gonna go take my Arthur Pleura so we can move into the actual starter location. But uh, yeah, I didn't really feel too comfortable leaving the base with just one turret like this because it's so easy to get past it. So at least now with two, um, yeah, you can't really cheese. I guess if you get back here, you can cheese it, but whatever. It's, uh, it's, it's better to have two than one, you know what I mean? One forty five. Do I wanna tame a good one? Oh there's a twenty there. 
Oh man, dude. What do I want to do? Am I feeling lazy? Like, my mind is telling me just to tame the 20, but my heart's telling me, man, I gotta get the 145. Alright, whatever. You know what, dude? We get the 140. Come on, dude. I can't be that scuffed. Like, let's, let's go. Let's get the 145. Oh, sh you know what? Okay, 13%? That's actually not that. I thought it was gonna be less. I thought it was gonna be like 8% or something. I'm also really hoping these sharks don't actually aggro the Arthropleura because I don't know if they do or not. Oh, they do. Okay, well, RIP the 145. Alright, level 20 it is, dude. Level 20 it is. And why is this Arthropleura being a good boy and just sitting in the water, dude? Why'd the other one have to go and aggro the, the damn beaver? Alright, level 29, bad boy. 150, 140 melee, I'll take that. I will take that. It's gonna take 10 years to break these foundations, but you know what? I'm gonna let my man go to work, and hopefully we can move bases here pretty soon. All right, go Brazy. I'm gonna put you on passive. So now that we had an Arthropleura going Brazy in their rat hole, it was time for us to do a little bit of farming. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering why I don't just go over to Gen 2 and just punch some rocks on there. But on Arcpocalypse, especially on White Day, the amount of cheaters that are on Gen 2 is just insane. And uh, yeah, it's not really safe to go over there. So I, I didn't want to risk it. And I decided that I would just do some farming on server. So now that we're back at base with the resources, I put the metal in the forges. I queued up a little bit of spark powder. And then I made another normal turret and some ammo to go with it. I then placed that down. And boom, we've now got three turrets inside of our base. All right, it's even enough. Let me just make sure I pin code this. Oh, there's a man here. I mean, there's no way. Unless this guy stops and just doesn't see me, there's literally no way I catch this guy. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting my time. Who is this though? Oh, it's the guy. It's the guy that lives in the rat hole. Okay. He's probably like, oh, where's my base? Oh, dude, your base it is being taken over. Oh, they have a PT. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I gotta be careful here. This is kind of a bad spot for me to be in, I won't lie. Oh my god, that thing hurt. Dude. Um, let's see if I can swallow my sleeping bag. I mean, there's no way my Arjun stuff survives. Dude, that maybe we can just clap the shit out of me, man. That is so... Oh, this is not the right bag. Alright, yeah. GG the RG. Alright, well losing the RG, that's kind of a big loss, not gonna lie, because that's my only flyer. I honestly, I should have just tamed it, I should have just wound, tamed more RGs, but, yeah, hindsight's 2020, I guess. Um, I'm kind of hoping that these guys just give up and they don't try to rebuild in that rat hole, because if they do rebuild, I mean, it's gonna be pretty annoying for me to deal with them. Especially since the dude, you know, there's at least two of them. Alright, well... There goes Arthur Plura. Well, that's not really a surprise. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tame... Or not tame. I'm gonna make a set of flak. And then I'm gonna go tame some PTs. So at least I have uh, a bird to get around with. Alright, nice. 145. <laughs> Alright, please, Bronto, give me some prime meat. Come 
Come on, just one. I'll take you. All right, one. I'm happy. Holy shit, dude. What? Why is this thing doing so much damage, dude? Come on. Okay, one. Come on, one more, one more. Please. Oh, man. Oh, two prime. Okay, come on, one more. One more. I right, know, I'll take two. I'll take two. Come on, give me a prime meat. Let's go. Okay, the PT's almost done anyways, but... And now it takes the PT tame from two bites to one bite. God, dude. No, 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 no. Come on, why? Come on. You fucking... No, don't kill it. I f*** this game, dude. Actually, f*** this game. I can't believe that. Oh, that is so annoying. I can't even believe that. But I'm gonna farm some obsidian and try to get back to base. Obsidian, well, poly is the one thing that I need to make more turrets, and I'm out of soft poly. So hopefully, with this little bit of obsidian, I can make, you know, three or four more turrets. Oh, that's a bad sign. Their PT still there. That's not, that's a really bad sign. That means that they're probably gonna try to rebuild, and then I'm sure they're gonna wanna raid me. Oh man. Come on, dude. I'm gonna. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh, that's my main wing. Okay, okay. He just stamped out. He has a bot. Come on, please die. Thank you. Okay, gotta make sure I kill his PT. That's one less dino for them. Let's go, dude. Let's go, boys. That's actually a pretty... That's a big dub, dude. Okay, I'll take the saddle. One less dino for them. That's big. All right, we got back inside. Damn, I took a, I took a, a few attempts. Okay, let's get this obsidian inside the um. Get the obsidian inside the fabricator. I'm gonna work on um, making the pillar metal, um, or like the pillbox. I mean, for the generator metal because it's stone right now, so it's really easy to blow up. All right, so Captain Polymer. All right, let's get this to metal. You know what? It's gonna be annoying, actually. Am I even gonna be able to replace this foundation? Honestly, maybe, maybe we just make a new pill box. That might be the best play, honestly. Or you know what? I could just put the gem. Hmm. I got, a, I got a, quite a few. I got quite a few options. Maybe instead of going with the pill box, we put the gem in the corner, and then I can probably build. Like something around it so it's at least you know not easy to break i think that's the play okay so let's try this so if i put the gen in this corner can i do fence foundation fence foundation so can i put walls on this okay i can't put wall i can't put walls on that one but i can put walls on here okay yeah that's what we'll do so it's going to be exposed from this back side but honestly, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't think. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's exposed. Uh, you know what? Nah, that's not going to work. Pick it up quick. Okay, well, man. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna go check out on our neighbor's base. I don't have enough. I don't have that many grapples. So I gotta be kind of careful here. Do I hear forges? Um, let me see. What should I do? Is there anything that beds in here? Honestly, I might popcorn all this shit. I know it's kind of an asshole thing to do, but it's honestly better to popcorn it and set them back. But no, actually, can I take it? Let me see. Can I make grapples? Okay, fiber. Yeah, make some arrows. Yeah, yeah. Dude, let me just fucking... Why well, popcorn? I can just take it, dude. I don't know what I'm thinking. Alright, well... I got I got their metal, their paste. So uh, yeah, time to get out of here. Yep, easy, dude. These guys have no clue. These guys have no clue that I just did this. Or maybe they do actually. I hear him. I hear him, dude. He's up there. Well, unlucky, dude. Unlucky. I'm getting back to my base with all your loot, dude. Let's go, boys. Let's go. What a bag, dude. We got metal. You got everything, dude. I mean, honestly? What do I need to make C4? Okay, electronics. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're making C4. I'm blowing up all their foundations. I'm going to put my own down there. The only thing we're missing is crystal. Okay, I'm going to have to farm a little bit of crystal. But yeah, yeah, that's a move. Screw these guys. We're just going to C4 down their stuff. Who's main? Who's got the better main wing? Don't worry. I'm just gonna keep farming my crystal so I can raid you. <laughs> Don't worry about me, dude. It actually has a neck on. This guy's an idiot. Oh my god, dude, this guy almost... Dude, that guy is such an idiot. Why would he do that? Dude, he has to be so low. He has to be so low. Okay, we're back inside. And little does this guy know what I have coming for him. Little does he know. Okay, so C4. All we need is gunpowder. Which, boom. We got that. Let's go. 4C4. Um, yeah, we have the detonator. I don't know why I lost my train of thought. Alright, y'all. I got 8C4. Um, let me make a... Actually, let me make metal foundies. Let me be smart about this. Triangles. Let me just take some of the metal. A little bit of pace out. Okay, if I make 3 metal triangles... I'll make 4, dude. Just to make sure I'm securing this. Okay, so he is. All right, he moved. Let's do one, two, three. Let's go. One more C4. One more C4 and this is claimed. Let me get the metal triangles ready. Okay, nope. One there. Just to be sure. 
Just to be sure. Come on. Yep. Easy, boys. We got the rat hole. Let's go. Put a triangle there. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Suck my balls. All right. Big dub, fellas. That is a humongous dub. Now I can take the rest of this loot. Whatever I left. Okay, so with those guys gone, I don't have to worry too much now, but I'm still gonna make a second turret. Oh, we don't have electronics. Um, okay, we need more metal. So that's exactly what I did. I went down to the pond and farmed a couple metal nodes. Dude, I don't know what this guy is doing, dude. This guy is just so weird. Like, he's just sitting around my base, just watching me. Like, dude, go, go do something productive. Like, I don't understand. You're sitting here just watching me, like... All right, well, we got back to base with a little bit of metal. We really needed this metal, so I'm glad that I was able to farm it. I don't know if this guy is ever going to leave my doorstep, but... Yeah, we got the metal. That's, that's what matters. Nice try, dude. Honestly, I respect that. I respect that. I, I don't know why he didn't dismount. I think uh, I think that was kind of his last play, though. I think uh, yeah, we don't have to be worrying about these guys too much now. This main wing is tanky as, like, so tanky, dude. Just die. Main wing silence. Is this his body? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, this is his armor, dude. Like, I respect the play, dude, but you're in hide. Let's see, what was the stats on this bad boy? Oh, this thing wasn't much better than mine. Honestly, though, I am pretty curious where his friend went. Because his friend... I haven't seen his friend, uh... In a while. So I wonder if his... I wonder if they have a base on, like, another server. And that's kind of what he's been doing. Uh, my thought process was that they were trying to get stuff to raid me. So, I don't know, maybe that was their plan, and then I, I beat them to the raid, and then they're just... Oh, wait. I w That's so weird. Like, how I one-hit that node? But yeah, anyways. I don't know where the, what the dude's trying to... Bro, what is going on, dude? Like, do you guys see this? I won't complain, but damn, dude. Let's go. We got four turrets total now, so that's honestly not too bad. We got the, the power of a heavy in this tiny little base, but... Yeah, as I said, now that those guys are, are kind of done with, or hopefully they're, they're done with and I don't have to deal with them anymore, I'm going to work on moving to, the, uh, to that new rat hole. Alright, so in order to make this move smooth and easy, I wanted to get another RG, so I crafted up a harpoon gun and some nets and went out to go tame one. Okay, 145. Let's kill these carnos and then we'll get this bad boy knocked out. Damn, dude, does the whole island want smoke? Come on, RG. I have one more arrow. There's no way 25 isn't enough to knock you out. Do I need to start punching you? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so what are the chances that Gen 2 isn't slot capped? And I can go there and get Mun. Um, oh, it's that. Uh, no, that's the island. Gen 2. Oh, let's go. It's not slot capped. Alright. Nice. What is... Oh, this is a cheater. Watch, I'm gonna kill this guy. This guy's bricked. Watch, believe in me. Never mind. Oh, wonderful, man. I get the I get the glitch. Where sometimes you spawn into a server, you can't see the primitive pickaxe engram. I can't even believe this is still in the game. But it's so annoying. Because the primitive pickaxe... It's pretty important. Fortunately, though, I was able to make a stone hatchet and kill a novice and harvest it for some mutton. All right, so while we're here, we might as well farm some resources. We got five minutes to kill, so I'd like to get uh, a lot of metal and um, a lot of obsidian. 
All right, timer's 30 seconds. Here's what we're leaving with. Oh, come on, dude. I'm gonna parachute onto a pack of aloes, for real. No, I'm going right above y'all. See ya. Come on, dead. Come on, take aggro. Dead on. Or do it. Oh, my. come on, dude. No. Come on, bro. Get off my dick. Of course, of course. Man, man, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, the aloes are actually hitting it. Come, bro, seriously? Oh my god, dude. What is this fucking duck? Come on, dude, aggro me. Come on, I'm just gonna run off the cliff. Yeah, come on, follow me. Yeah, 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 you idiots. That's so annoying, dude. And the, now look at the, oh my god, dude. I, like, are you serious right now? Well, there goes our good team, dude. I can't even, I, like, dude, I'm, I'm, like, lost for words, man. And you're still here. How'd you get inside? Come on, dude. You're gonna kill it. Like, come on, dude. Please, man. I fucking beg. This, this dog, I. Come on, dude. This mutton's gonna spoil. Oh my god, dude. I'm just gonna watch, gonna fucking react to me, yep. And the mon spoiled, yep. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, well, I won't lie to you fellas. I wasn't the happiest camper after that happened, but I didn't want to quit. I really needed an RG in order to do this move. I also remembered about the Star of Tame glitch that you can do to insta-tame RGs, so I decided this time I would make a little bit of a trap and tame another RG. No. What? It didn't even start running? Come on, dude. It didn't even start, like, flying away. Bro, come on, dude. Bruh. Alright, realistically, did you guys actually expect me to do that right the first time? Probably not. But I was able to find a 150, so let's get this bad boy tamed. There we go. Come on, knock out. Let's go. Okay, hopefully didn't miss that. <laughs> hopefully didn't miss. Wow. All right, we're just gonna raw meat tame this thing. To be honest with you, like I can't be asked getting prime meter mutton again. All right, man. Jesus, I I should have just done this from the start. To be honest with you, but yeah, we got a RG tamed finally, a good one. Alright, I got two more turrets. Alright, last of the gunpowder is crafted. Let's turn all this into ARB, and then we'll go put up these turrets in the new rat hole. Alright, so I'm gonna put the generator up here. Um, honestly, I might just put it in this... Let me see. If I put it in this corner, they don't have to run a cable as far. Yeah, I think I'll just, just stick it down right here for now. Um, okay, this is going to be so scuffed. Whatever, though, it works. Come on, let me cover you. Okay, so that's covered. Okay, that will place. Um, I need this to connect, but not so jankily. Let's go. Okay, that works. So now that we have that outlet placed, I should be able to place one turret here. Put another turret right here. You guys might be thinking, Curtis, there's no way that this outlet over here will reach these turrets. But if you don't know, 
If you place the turrets, uh, like if you turn off your generator, place the turrets, and then turn your generator back on, for some reason, the outlet gets more range. So now, these better be in range, dude. Okay, I lied. Um, it's still too far away. Shit. Okay, where is triangle? That's covered. Put a fence support on top of that. Okay, now this will work. Um, do I need you? Just go down like this so it doesn't look ugly. Or minimizes ugliness. Okay, now these are turned on. Put some ammo on these. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't have to be even right now. Alright, well. At least we finally got two turrets in the rat hole. So we got something. Okay. There's two walls. Now, uh, please let me put a wall on top of you. Yes, let's go. Perfect. Okay, we got the gen closed in, so at least it's not exposed. So hopefully I can do a foundation like this. And then I should be able to just ladder off the side so I can get up here easily. Okay, climb down. Um, is that going to work? Yes, it will. Let's go, boys. The rat hole is taking some shape. Alright, so how exactly do I want to do this? So if we do one foundation here, one foundation here. We do, okay, the triangles in the back like this. And then... Okay. You know what, this will be good for now. Um, I just need to start moving stuff. So I'm going to put storage boxes. Uh, let me see. Okay, I don't want them to be obstructing the ladder. So I guess, I'll, you know, let me put it... Man, I kind of wish I had some, like, thought out for this. Okay, it's going to be kind of scuffed. I think if we just do it like this. Put one box here. Alright, so I've got a couple forges. Smithy, fabricator, pestles. Crafted for the new base. i got to make some beds. Three will be fine for now. Alright, so I'm going to load the RG up. And let's start moving the loot. So, moving the loot... Um, it's a lot easier said than done. It was very annoying. I had to fly the RG up to this ledge and pretty much ferry loot in and out of the rat hole. My character didn't have much weight, so it took like a million trips. But eventually we got it done, and I placed down the fabricator. And then I placed down forges 1, 2, and 3. Next up, it was the smithy to be placed. And of course, you cannot forget the beds. And after placing down those structures, I went back to the old base and demolished everything just to get the resources. Alright, not looking too shabby. So all five of those turrets get great line of sight down the trap hole. Um, so I've got all of these on only survivors. And then if they try to like C4 Dodo or, you know, send an Artho in here, I have this turret right here on Tame Creatures. So it'll shoot the Dodo and it'll kill the Artho Plura. But I think if it does shoot the Dodo and the C4 detonates, it's probably going to break the Smithy and stuff. But it won't break the turrets, which is really what matters. Alright, thank you very much for watching this episode till the end. And in the next episode, we're going to be um, getting to level 100. So I'm sorry, I know that this video is kind of um, a little bit boring, not too much PvP. But I promise the next one will be more interesting. So uh, yeah, thank you again for watching till the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright fellas, welcome back to the channel. And in the second Arkpok episode, we made a bunch of progress. We got six turrets down inside of our rat hole, and we are honestly looking really good. But if you want a rat hole to last and to be strong, then we need heavy turrets. So as the title suggests, that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be picking up right where we left off in the last episode. But real quick, I want to thank all of you guys so much for playing my unofficial cluster, Curtis Ark. 
As I said in the last ArcPoc episode, the turnout for our first ever season was absolutely insane and we had all of our maps capped for the first three days. It still isn't too late to join the servers and have some fun, but we have huge things planned for season two, so if you want to be a part of it, join the Discord linked in the description or in the pinned comment, and I hope to see all of you guys there. Alright fellas, so now that we had a couple of turrets in the rat hole, I felt safe to leave it for a little bit, so it's time to head over to Crystal Isles and tame a wyvern, and then work on getting to level 100. Alright, and in order to tame a wyvern, we will need some crystal, so I crafted up a stone pickaxe and went to town on these crystal rocks to try to get some, and uh, after what felt like forever, I finally got a little bit of crystal. 45, actually perfect, I'll, I'll take a 45. What? Boom. Crystal Wyvern has tamed. Let's see the stats. Uh, there's definitely been better. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the center, tame a Thyla, and let's go get level 100. Oh, whippy peas? Eh, whatever. Well, that's a speed hack, RG, if I've ever seen one. That thing just zipped across my screen. If this thing picks me, man, that's gonna be rather unfortunate. What? Okay, it's stack box. Alright, so now that we had the Wyvern and we could get around the map a lot faster, it was time to tame up a Thyla and use that to get us to level 100. 15. That's what we're looking for. Alright, dude. Wow. Okay. God, man, Mr. Bug, leave me alone. I got more important things. There we go. And now that we have the Thyla tamed, it's time to head over to Scorched Earth, hit up a couple notes, and then kill the Titan to get the levels. A griffin here. Oh my god, that guy hurts. I think this guy's dead. Got a micro raptor. What was this guy doing, man? A micro raptor. Alright, well. Griff instead. Don't think. Oh, it did have a bag. Okay, I gotta check this. No, that's my bag. Okay, I was empty. Alright, well. Honestly, wasn't expecting to run into, into anyone at all. The server is like four pop. But I will take that kill. Okay, I'll take a free homing missile. I'm really struggling to find this Titan though. I'm looking at all the spawns and I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's okay. I gotta raid this. That's such a free raid. I'm coming back for that. Well, at least we found something on this server, because the Titan, we ain't finding that. I don't, I think someone must have killed it, it's just not on the map, so. I might, um, I think I'm going to put my character in upload, go AFK for a little bit, come back. Hopefully the Titan's here, we can kill it, get to 100, and then we'll come back and raid that base later.
Dude, I don't know how I'm running into so many people today. Or on the server, dude, it's five pop. So where's your body? Oh, this guy had... Uh, not much. He did not have much. His wyvern's high level, though. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to kill this thing. It's level 100, too. Dude, I have to raid this guy. First, I kill this guy's wyvern. Finally, man. Dude, that was so annoying to kill this thing. Like, unbelievable. Oh my god. Don't tell me he just... Dude, I have no stamina. What level is his wyvern? 142? Okay, it's the same guy. I kind of feel bad, but I want to see what's in his wyvern. I'll be kind of careful here, though. I don't know if he wants to fight me or not. It doesn't really seem like it. Alright, well that wyvern I won't kill. Cause I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna be a complete... Oh, dude, I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad, dude. That's not nice though, dude. You can't call me that. I was just talking about leaving his other wyvern too, but I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I'll kill it. This game blows. Oh, I feel bad. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna let him keep this wyvern. Um, I don't think his high level one had a had anything in it. There's no item cache, so that kind of that kind of sucks. Alright, so it's been like an hour. I've been scouting this server just to find the Titan, and for whatever reason, it's not spawning. Um, I'm checking all the spawns, as I said previously, and it's just not here. So this could be a really dumb idea, but I think I'm gonna head over to the island and try to kill the Titan on there. Because I'm pretty sure the Titan has multiple, or the island has multiple Titan spawns. So, even if someone um, killed one of them, you know, there should hopefully be another one on the map. Oh, island slot capped. Oh, no. Uh, do I want to join Sim? Not really, but is it the only option? Alright, well, I pressed the join button like three times and got in, so it's super, super soft capped. Um... I'm not very confident about this, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of bobs, but I don't know, man. Just uh, The confidence isn't high for this, but we're going to give it a go anyways. Come on, there's no way the Titan is in here. Yes, let's go. The Titan is here. Oh, okay. Let's go get a couple notes, and we'll come kill this thing. All right, here goes nothing. Make sure we get full stand before we grab this. All right, let's go. Alright, well, I am, I'm just ass, dude. What, I, I don't know what else to say, man. Alright, so while I'm farming berries, I'll explain to you guys the new plan. So I'm going to tame a Megatherium. I was actually watching a fellow YouTuber. His name is Holly. And I was watching him um, play Arc Pock. And how he got level 100 was that he tamed a Megatherium, went to Scorched Earth, got like the 4x and the 2x notes, and then just killed Deathworms in the desert. Which seems like a really good strategy. Um, I completely forgot that death, that death worms even existed. And uh, yeah, they're really good for XP. So that's what I'm going to do. Tame a Megatherium, head back to Scorched Earth, 
And yeah, I'll get to 100. I'm also gonna bring some C4 with me. Um, so we can raid the Chinaman and hopefully get some fat loot from him. And yes, farming berries like this is very painful. It's painful for me to do and painful for you guys to watch. Fifty. Can't give me a one fifty. Okay, one thirty. I'll take a one thirty. Let's go. All right. So while this tames, um, I'm gonna go work on farming some C4. I need to farm a little bit of spark powder so I can make some gunpowder and craft more C4. All right, come here, boy. Let me take the honey out of you. Honey. All right, so let's make some C4. 12. Perfect. That will be more than enough for this. And we have got the Megatherium that's almost done. All right, hopefully we got like 300 melee. Okay, 272, I'll take that. That's not... They could have been worse. All right, let's get it, fellas. We're getting level 100. I'm feeling it. All right, let's get it, baby. Oh, wow. Great start. Electrical storm, so I cannot toss my dino out of crowd pod. What a what an amazing start. All right, Mr. Mr. Megatherium, it's showtime. Easy, there we go. We got a death worm. Come on, pike it the rest of the way. Oh yeah, six levels from that, dude? Easy. Okay, if I find a couple more of those, then, yeah, we'll be at a... Oh, another one? Oh my... Oh, lord, boys. Boys, two right here. Let's go. That's so, dude. Oh man, I'm so happy. Right, that's fine though. I couldn't see the HP on it because of this death worm. What levels I get from that too? Yeah, that's not even bad. Okay, two more levels. Okay, we're super close. If we can find one more death worm before my my forex ends, then we should be super close to uh to level 100, and then I can just finish it off with a couple more death worms without the forex. Alright, well, this is what I get for being lazy. Uh, my 4x is about to run out. And I am not level 100. We're pretty close to it, level 96. You know what? I'm off timer. Let me just crawl. Let me just toss up my wyvern. And, um. Yeah, let me just go get the other 2x notes. Or the other. The two other 4x notes. Let me just be smart about this. So after grabbing the two other Forex notes, I went back to the desert to scout for more death worms, and I found this red drop, and inside the red drop, there was these fur leggings BP, or not BP, there was these fur leggings that had 500 dura, and these would be coming in very handy for the raid. Let's go, we got a death worm. Okay, I think it should just be one more death worm, and we will be a hundred, maybe two. There we go. Come on, man. All right, one more. But my my thing is f***ed. my megatherium thing. I'm gonna have to force feed it a little bit.
Let's go, boys. Oh, wrong button. Let's go. So now that we're level 100, the first thing we're, we're gonna do, it's not go and craft these heavy turrets. Of course not, feathers. It's time to go raid. All right, we got the red drop for good luck. What do we get? C4 debt? Dude, this is the art gods telling me that this raid is gonna go flawless. Oh no, he has a heavy. Uh. Okay, you know what? We send it on this left side. We send it on this left side and blow in. That's what we do. We just send it with the wyvern. Okay, I'll put some of this stuff. These uh, fur leggings that we got are going to come in super clutch. Dude, this wyvern only has 2k HP, man. What am I doing? I'm making a play. That's what I'm doing. Why am I doubting myself? We're going to... Dude, this is going to be huge. Uh, spyglass. Alright, here we go. Uh, okay. I did not expect that, to be honest. Alright, well, on the plus side, if he hasn't noticed, <laughs> then my body should be down below, and I'm pretty sure the turrets are all on. Only survivors. Yeah, I see my beam down below. I gotta find a way to make this jump without dying. Okay. My body has been secured. We're gonna try this again. Oh, I shot my chest too? Oh no. That's not good. Come on, Wyvern, fly out of there. Let's see if we can take a peek. Honestly, his wyverns might be last item for me. This could actually be a play. Okay, this could be something. Okay, I'm gonna put a sleeping bag down. Okay, maybe I'm not. Okay, let me hit, let me eat one more blood pack. Okay, so now, what's the best way to go about this? Because I don't know if I can go... Can I, I don't... Man, I might have to jump over. I might have to jump this way. Yeah, I think if I just jump this way. Hopefully, don't die to this normal turret, and then I can get to the, the side of the base here. Uh, that didn't really work. So, I was kind of thinking about it, and... Uh, that I kind of played this uh, stupidly, to say the least. Um, when I was flying in there with my wyvern, I should have just went from below, like straight up, and then into the base instead of just coming like head on at it, because I would have line of sight of the turrets, and I, I think I would have made it honestly if I didn't be an idiot and fly like head on. All right, perfect. So I'm over here re-kidding up. Um, I'm not kidding up. I'll quickly make one heavy turret. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, perfect. We got everything to make one heavy, so that'll make our base uh, way harder to raid. Okay, I'll put you right in the middle. Okay, 50 bullets isn't isn't really going to cut it, though. I won't lie. Alright, so I think I got everything. I got two flak sets. I got extra crossbow grapple, shields... Um, everything I need to get back up there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, instead of taking a dino, I'm just gonna parachute to green ob. So it's kind of scuffed, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Twelve minutes on what? Just parachutes? And the shields? Yeah, I'm not waiting twelve minutes, dude. Let's go. All right, well, let's see if uh, the wyvern's dead. No, it is not, so that's probably a really good sign. Okay, let's just put the extra kit in here. All right, give me half of these. Okay, I'm gonna have to use these sparingly. I'm 
Let's go. I got my body. Okay, I can. And there's no way I even spawn on this, but I'll place it anyways. I guarantee you I get lit up if I try to spawn on that. Okay, so now we gotta try to, uh, like, IQ this. How, how can I do this? I don't think there's any way for me to clip through here. Oh, dude, we're so close. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Honestly, the biggest problem is this, this Anki, man. I can't... Wait. That doesn't... Man, the problem is trying to get through... I can't get through the Anki's... Wait. Can I get through the Anki's head? If I can get through the Anki's head, I can get under my wyvern arm. Okay, we gotta try this. Anki head, please move. Come on, Anki head. Please, man. I'm almost through this. I think maybe we try third person C4 in it. I don't think this will kill my Wyvern, but it's... Right, that, it's on the Inky's head. Yeah, I don't think this will kill my Wyvern, but it's going to get it really bloody. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to place this. I guess my next... Alright, I guess this is my second option. Right, let me try this. Nope. Okay, I don't want to net my Wyvern. I want to net the Inky. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. All right, honestly, I don't think there's a chance that I'm going to be able to spawn in this bag and not insta-die, but we'll try it. Okay, I'm not dead yet. Okay, that's big. That is big. Definitely gonna make more bags and put them here. All right, y'all, this is a full send, but I'm just gonna try to kill their wyvern and then maybe I can get under my wyvern. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Turn sound, let's go, let's go, let's go. That worked. Let me in, dude. Show me the loot. Fabricator. Flamethrower. Riot shield. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. So much metal in here. Dude. Let's go, fellas. And that's why you don't quit, man. That is why you don't quit on a raid. Polly. They got... Let's go. I'm gonna take this rocket. And, uh, I'm... I'm sorry. This base is gonna have to go. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot a rocket here. Oh no! Oh man, dude, I was doing so good. Chem bench, bunch of spark powder and stuff. Where's the cryopod of dinos at though? Oh my, the metal. Oh my lord. There's so much metal in here. Yeah, I'll take the empty crowd pod. I'm gonna pull the RG out of my upload, but yeah, I don't see their... Where's where's their loot at? Where... Oh. Oh. We found it. Alright, please, have something, man. Please. I mean, you know what? Alright, I won't complain that much about that, actually. Okay, let me go get my RG out of upload, and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with all these dinos, but I'm gonna have to try to find a way to kill all their, all their, all their stuff. Oh, there's some storage boxes in here. What else did I see? Uh, I'll take the bed. Actually, this is a one by one. Let me just take it all. Just you know what? For now, we'll just put down. Foundation here. Two storage boxes. And let me put down... Do I have a bag on me? No, I'll make a bag and put one here. I'm gonna 
Okay, they had nothing. I don't know if the dinos are gonna have any loot on them. You know what's nice? We actually need this flint and spark powder so bad. We have so much charcoal, but no spark powder. Man, I really want to take all this metal, but I can't. Oh, it's always the same problem, man. I can't take metal. It's always the same. Okay, raw meat. I don't need this much. Alright, I had to check for good measure just to see what if they put all their loot in the Megatherium. Okay, they had a saddle for me, so that's worth it. Okay, check these turrets. Let's see if this heavy has any ammo. does oh the heavy was loaded what the okay it's funny because their one normal turret on the ground had no ammo but their heavy has that much oh my lord that's so much ammo that's actually huge dude i need to blow up all i need to blow this turret is getting blown up that's for sure oh yeah give it to me dude give me all this air b man i need it so bad Let's go, dude. That's actually such a big profit from this base. Damn, man. It actually hurts to leave all this metal behind, but I just can't. I just can't be asked, man, to come and do, like, transfers with it. Timer is three minutes. Yeah, three minutes, so I'm gonna try to bounce. Man, I'm at the drop. I guess we'll just do half. Put this in there. Uh, yeah, it's... I already said, alright, you know what? Commit, dude, just drop, a, just drop the stack, man. It hurts. It hurts. But here's what we're leaving with. So, yeah, Air B, uh, Spark Powder. So, as I said, man, honestly, super huge profit for. How much C4 did I use? I think four total. Come on, man. Why is everything aggro on me now? Oh, it's fucking. Come on, dude. There's a fucking storm. Are you shitting me? I can't cry on my RG? This is such bullshit, dude. This is actually such bullshit. I gotta wait another timer because of this stupid fucking storm. Well, on the bright side, I can kill a, I can kill some dinos, hit some notes, and level my RG up some more. So I can get more weight and carry more metal. This is probably a really bad idea doing this. It blew up, but you know what? We're gonna risk it for another biscuit. And of course, it's not showing up. Awesome. Killed somebody. I'm pretty sure this LZ guy is a, a cheater wyvern. I'm like very certain of that. Okay, that's relatively split. Alright, so after filling up the turrets, I gathered all the charcoal that we had in the base, and I used the spark powder that we got from that raid to craft even more gunpowder. Alright, let's get a second heavy turret down in the rat hole. I'm gonna craft some ammo with the gunpowder, and then I will be going to bed. Alright, perfect. So I'll put the heavy turret right here. Make sure they're all pink coated. Yeah, man, you're not doing anything to this now. Now that we got two heavies looking down here, there's no, like, even if you try to shield it, dude, you're getting beamed by this. I don't think there's any way I'm getting raided tonight. I probably just jinxed the shit out of myself. I mean, honestly, we can make a third heavy. 
Um, we have the electronics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Let's get three heavies in this. So it's even more annoying to try to raid it. Alright, so the last of the gunpowder is finishing up. So we'll take that. We'll take this. Put all the gunpowder. Actually, yeah. Craft the heavy. All the gunpowder in here. Make as much ARB as we can. Which is going to be almost 500 bullets. So that will not be bad. We'll be sitting actually pretty pretty solid for day one, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's put this heavy down right here. And it does still shoot, even though it's kind of clipped into the mesh. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Boom. Let me gamma up so you can see these turrets in their glory. We've got some thick boys over here. And as you guys may tell, it's pretty late at night, and I am very tired. All right, let's take this ammo. Make sure the heavies are looking pretty good. Okay, so we've got... They're pretty much sitting at 400. Uh, let me even this out just a little bit. Okay, yeah, so pretty much 400. Um, I'll put the rest of the bullets, I guess, in this guy. So, yeah, I am going to go to bed. Good progress for day one. And hopefully in the morning, we are not raided. Alright, let's see. Are we raided? Uh, no, we are not raided. Alright, so someone just sorted the, the very first starter base, but that's fine. Alright, perfect. I got some pretty big plans today, so I'm really glad that we're not raided. So the first thing I did was I crafted the Desmoda saddle. I wanted to head over to Fjorda and get one of these tamed. And I'd actually never tamed one of these before, so it's going to be kind of interesting, you guys, uh, to watch me try to tame a bat for the first time. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, well, I spawned over here on Fjord, and I have no clue what's going on, so every time I look in my inventory, my screen is flickering. I have no clue what this... What is this? What is going on? What is it even flickering? Like, even my screen... I don't know, man. It's This is so weird. It's flickering. Okay, this is kind of risky because I've got to bait. I've got to bait them out. Okay, so what we'll do? So take the Maywing. Let's go, buddy. It's time to get out of here. Okay, now you can pick me. Alright, nice. It's kind of a poop level, not gonna lie, but we'll take it. I'm, I think I'm gonna try to tame a, a better one, though. Because at uh, level 70, level 70 I, don't, I don't know if it's gonna really cut it, not gonna lie. Alright, so we've got two more bats in here. Oh no, there's more, okay. So we've got a 90, 45, 100. Okay, I'm gonna try to piss off the level 100. I did indeed. Piss off level 100. Yeah, follow me. Oh my god, what? Come on, dude. Really? Okay, this is really bad. Not good. Oh, come on, dude. Now, you're... Dude, this is so gay. Dude, come on, man. Like, what is this? My baby's getting shit on, too? Oh, my lord. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I'm dead. Come on, quick, quick. No, it's dead. Come on, dude. Like, this is so... Every t I, I, I don't even, I'm lost for words, man. This game is so sh Like, come the f*** on. Alright, so, I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking right now, why am I taming the Desmodus here when there's way better spots to tame them and less cancer biomes? And that is because I watched a video on YouTube on where to go to tame the Desmodus, and this lava Desmodus spot was the first um, location in the video. And for whatever reason at the time, I didn't think to look back at the video to see if there was other spawn locations. I kind of just assumed that this was the only spot that they spawned at. 
So uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a noob mistake, but you know what, guys? I show you guys everything, uh, my trials and tribulations. Um, I don't hide anything from you guys. So I hope you guys get a kick out of me being an idiot. Okay, I got on. To, okay, I got on to a bat. Okay, this might be my chance. Let me go see if I can try to get my body. Okay, body's been received. I retrieved. I'm gonna make sleeping bags. And we're gonna try to tame another Desmodus. Okay, we made it into the cave. Hopefully there's like a straggler in here I could just quickly tame. Like I'll tame literally like a level five. I just need something. Come on, I just need one of you to aggro me. Just one. There we go. Oh no, the whole- oh no, dude. Oh no. This was a mistake. This was a huge mistake. Okay, nice. Oh, dude. Amazing voice crack. But alright, we got this level 15 tamed. Oh my gosh. There we go. Bat number two. I would like to get just one more. And uh, yeah, we'll be chilling on bats. Alright, well, I've been looking for more bats. And I just can't seem to find any high levels. I'm trying to get them to respawn, but yeah, I've only been finding kind of poop levels. So I'm gonna just dip out of here and go back to center. Alright, so we're back on center, and now that I've got some Desmodus, I'm going to make another saddle for the, the level 20, and I'm going to head over to Crystal Isles and tame some Wyverns, because we're going to need those, uh, just for scouting, and, you know, it's just nice to have uh, Wyverns on hand. And when we got to Crystal Isles, I worked on farming up some blood packs, that way I could make the elixir to help tame some good Wyverns. And then I found this level 25 female crystal wyvern, so I knocked it out to get those good crystals. Level 95, you know what, I'll tame that. Let's go. Oh, he killed, Ah. Oh. oh wait, that was a, oh dude, I didn't realize that was a wild one. Oh man. Okay. We got this one tamed. Dude, I really need to like I really need to kill these wyverns, man. Like that thing killed my that thing killed my Desmodus, man. I should have killed it after I knocked it out. I swear that always comes to bite me in the butt. So is that I'm pretty sure that's a tame yeah, that is a tamed one. What level are you? 127? I can take this. That's your bad boy. I'll drop you. You hit once. I was on the tail of my wyvern. And I was gonna die, dude. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. This wild wyvern on OP, dude. What did you have? Take your crossbow, bullets. Oh, sh. Alright, this has gotta be the tankiest level 25 wyvern in, like, in the game. I bit this thing like a thousand times. Oh my god, finally, man, that thing died. Now I can focus on killing this wyvern. Okay, his wyvern is dead. Is there a bag? I don't see an item cache. I think it was empty. 
Alright, nice. Let's go 500 weight. Okay, stamina. Alright, not too bad. Um, I did see my Desmodus. Yeah, its body's right here. So I'll grab the saddle and any blood packs. Oh, someone already beat me to that. Okay. Well, alright, let's go tame another wyvern. Alright, so you guys already know the deal. I found this level 55 female, so I knocked it out so I could grab those primal crystals and tame another good wyvern. Let's go, boys. We got a 145 tamed up. Um, and I did see a 130 right next to this 145, and I have four more crystals, so I think that should be enough to tame it. And I don't know if these stats are bad or not, but yeah, I'm gonna upload, go to the screen drop, upload the, the 145 tame. Yeah, there's the 130. So I'll upload this bad boy, and then we will head over uh, and tame this 130. Come on, Wyvern, land. Oh, dude. That's your ass, boy. Oh no way, dude, this guy is so low. What? I'm dead. Oh man, my shield broke. Bruh, that's so sad. I just wanna know, cause someone explain to me how this works. So here's the instant replay, right? And look at, look, this is where I'm starting to pick, right? His wyvern is, um, let me pause it. His, his wyvern is literally under me and I'm picking right now, but somehow he picks me from my wyvern and I don't pick him. Like, look at this, dude. My wyvern is above him in the pick animation and he picks me. So I don't know, man. That's 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 so sad. Oh, uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. We got the 145 tamed, which is really what matters. So I'm gonna head back to center, and I'm gonna work on taming some soakers. I want to get some segos tamed. So uh, when we start raiding, we have those. All right, you know what? Actually, we have no metal. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make some crop pods. I'm gonna pull the wyvern out of my upload, and then we're gonna head over to Gen 2, do a little farming run over there, and come back because, yeah, not having metal is kind of a, a big problem. Now that we have some crowd pods made and the wyvern safely back to base, it was time to head over to Gen 2 and punch some rocks. Alright, so we have returned with all the uh, farm. And uh, we're going to need a shit ton of wood to smelt that on this metal, so that's what I'm going to work on next. Set pin code. Okay, hopefully I can access this mannequin. Yeah, when I spawn in here, yeah, I should be able to. Okay, perfect. So we got like a nice dumb mannequin now. I'm just gonna put all the stone in here because I can't. I don't have space for it anywhere else. I'm sorry y'all about my dog. He just wants to be in the video. All 
I'm getting spawned. Alright, well, that's... Yeah. That's... That's unfortunate. Oh, man. Well, let's see. No tribe. Killed my RG. Oh, that's depressing, man. That is depressing. What are the chances to do that? They're just like, why? Why are you here? Like, why are you on the floating islands out of all places to be? I want to see if he left anything. Man, dude, this guy's. Is... All right, so I just submitted a ticket, and uh, you know, with the wild card, it's like a, it's maybe like a. 20% chance the dude gets banned, but I'd rather I'd rather try to get him banned than to do nothing. I think right now I'm going to try to tame some stegos. Well, I kind of need an RG. All right, so you know what? We're gonna try to tame a couple RGs first, and then we'll go and try to tame some stegos. I think. All right, you know what? I'll stop shooting it. Let me get us something to eat. See, there's something I can pick. I guess you don't. Let me piss off to the die more. Wait, why did it knock out? Oh man. Come on, dude. Oh, that's so annoying. Now I gotta kill it. Oh, hell no. There's a whole army coming. Oh, hell no. See what we got. Uh, it looks average, but it is an RG nonetheless. All right, perfect. That's two RGs tamed. So at least if I get aimbotted off of another one, we aren't completely screwed. All right. So I know I said that I was gonna go tame some psychos after this, but I think I'm gonna scout the center server to scout this server, see if I can find something to raid. And then if I need the Segos to do a raid, then I can tame them. But I'm kind of hoping I can find, like, a badly built base that I can cheese. Alright, y'all. Let's go tame a Parasaur. And hopefully we can find something to raid. Alright, I'm sorry. I gotta kill this guy. I don't know. He could have something. So I didn't have much. I I'll take the neck on though. That's actually a big profit. Oh, the tranks are actually pretty big, and the cryopods. Okay, that guy's actually more, kind of more loaded than I thought. Um, hard fiber, spyglass, some raw meat. Oh, the rest of the stuff he can keep. Um, I don't think I'm gonna kill his bird. Two twenty. I mean, eh, he could have put some stuff in there. It's only a, all right, I feel kind of bad. Ooh, that is a great raid target. That's a guy that I just killed too. Okay, that's good to know. That is a really good raid target. That's a pretty easy raid too. Because I don't think that their turrets were sticking over the edge. So I might be able to just grapple up and shoot rockets up into their turret wall. Ooh. 222. Oh, 
Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to kill that. Let's see what's what they have down here for us. Okay, pace, cryopods. I guarantee you their best loot is gonna be in that RG. Okay, never mind. And that is exactly why I didn't go out and tame Stegos. Because I felt like I was going to find some funny stuff like this. And boom, we got ourselves two Stegos. Oh man. Uh, I kind of feel bad that RG had nothing. Want to toss out this Stego? I want to see, is this the HP that he tamed? Yeah, 5.5. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. This mail is pretty trash, but but yeah, that is that's pretty pretty good. I'm gonna head back to base. Well, I'm gonna finish scouting this side of the map. I'll scout the big waterfall over there, and then I'm gonna head back to my base. Wait, I'm pretty sure that this dude, this dude was a cheater, Wyvern, bro. This a box box guy. Should be getting raided, pal. I'm gonna try to be in out as fast as I can. Okay, this guy had nothing. I'll take the tranks. Storage box, nothing. Storage box. Cooked meat. I'm gonna take the shield too. Smithy, nothing. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here before I die. Because I'm. There's no way this is the dude's only base, dude. I don't know. Maybe that guy was just a bob, and like the guy just like invited him to his tribe, because that tribe of a box box, um, they, they might be the alpha. I've seen a couple of them talking in global chat, so I don't really know what's going on with that. Okay, there's a turret down here, but seeing as there's nothing pinging, is it white? I don't know. I guess let's find out. I don't think that this is rated. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, good thing they didn't have a turret here, because that would have been, that would have been pretty bad. Oh, where's their base? It's all the way back here. Wait, I'm confused. I said that. Said there was a turret in range. All right, this could be a horrible idea, but I want to check Center Pearl Cave. I want to see if this is where the the tribe of A Box Box lives, because I'm pretty sure they're the Alpha Tribe. No way, it's Pearl Cave not even built. Okay, it's kind of spammed. Yeah, it's gonna be from A Box. No, Tribe of Dread. Oh, okay. Wait, they might have something all the way in the back then. What's in the front here? Um, I don't, I don't know where this is pinging. Oh, there I saw it for a second. Oh, it's the doed. All right, you know I'm gonna run into here real quick. I wanna see, I wanna see what's up. He just put found. He might have just put foundations in here. Okay, well we'll blow this up. Okay, this forge is running. Take the pearls. Gunpowder, gilly. Um, take the paste, gas, hide. Okay, so it looks like this guy is just working on, on building this. 
I don't know if this is a solo guy or if he's got buddies. But I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, see if there's anything back there. If there's wild dinos, no way I'm gonna try to run past it, but it's uh, it's worth checking out. Yeah, here are snakes. Okay, there's nothing back here. Um, I guess I'll check the other room. All right, so the back is completely empty. The problem is I don't, I want to put a bag in here, but like, I don't know where. I don't know any good spots in here to put a sleeping bag. I mean, what are chances that I can, I don't know. I mean, I don't think there's anywhere I can put, like, I guess maybe behind this metal node. What, what, there's, I mean, there's literally no way he doesn't find this. But whatever, dude. I want to at least try to put something in, you know, I don't even need to, I don't even need to name it. Um. Sorry, dude. Come on, where is he at? I don't. I can't see him anywhere. I don't have a weapon. This is not good. I need to see for him again. Oh, he had a heavy. Okay. Well, I feel kind of bad. But I mean, I got a heavy turret out of that, so that's worth it. He just spawned in too, dude. He was just... Man, that's unlucky for this guy. Alright. Well, time to get out of here. That was worth it. Wait. I just realized something, guys. Um... His Maywing, he probably put all of his loot in his Maywing, because his body had, like, nothing. Dude, I need to go in there and kill the Maywing. I don't have a, I don't have anything to kill it, though. I guess, you know, I can make arrows. Yeah, I have it. Okay, crossbow arrows it is. That's my weapon. I, I, I've got to kill this Maywing. He could have transferred all into it. He did, but he didn't have anything on him. Alright, well, I shall take the flint. I kind of need flint. Um, yeah, I'm not going to kill the rest of his stuff. Alright, well, the whole server scouted. Um, I'm going to assume that the the Tribe of A box box is an ice cave. But, uh, yeah. I think right now, let me change. I guess you know, I'll change you into the heavy. But uh, I'm going to tame an itchy, and I want to work on getting some flak blueprints. Uh, I'm gonna go around the cave on Crystal Isles, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some flak BPs. That will really help us out for doing some, you know, for doing some raids. All right, well that might have been the easiest dolphin tame of my life. This guy just sat here and just let me tame him like a king or a queen. My bad. But uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to tame uh, one more, just to have a spare. Let's go, boys. That is two witches tamed. Uh, I'm gonna give these guys. Where are you going? Alright, I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of time to get some levels in the cryopod before I take them out. But, uh, yeah. Alright, real quick, I'm gonna toss out these segos, get them, or at least try to breed them. Perfect. Alright, let's get a sego egg. Alright, and after breeding the segos, I crafted up a couple rockets because I knew I might need them for a raid later. And then I headed over to Fjordr to tame some more Desmodus. Ah, oh, man, dude, I messed up. What are the chances, dude? God damn it, dude. Ah, oh, man, dude. Come on, pick me. Just do it. I haven't been in a bullet fight in so long. What? <laughs> I 
This guy's a buffoon, dude. There's a Fjord Hawk, though. There's, this is C. This is why, man. This is so lame. See, there's nothing I can do because of his f***ing hawk, man. Man, dude. Oh. oh that's so depressing. At least, uh, you know what? I, he killed, he killed my, he killed my wire and I killed his, I killed his bat, man. Alright, well, you know what? I respect this guy. He said, man with C4, you're good in PvP. Thanks for content, bro. Well, thank you for the content, my boy. That's pretty funny. That the, at least this guy's being like a good sport about it, I guess. Yeah, sorry. One second, dog. I just turned my my volume up. Can you talk again? Hello. Okay, I can hear you now. What's up, dude? Yeah, what's up, dude? Like, um, we're starting to start over here, just trying to get some bats. Oh, here, take this. Ooh. Whoa. Thank I hope that helps, much. man. I hope that helps. Uh, thank, thank you. All right, man. I wish you luck, dude. Hopefully, uh, right, dude. hopefully you survive. Keep driving, my boy. Yeah. Enjoy your team. Right, dude. See ya, man. <laughs> what a nice guy, man. What a, what a, what a lad. I need you guys to stop the buffoonery. Now listen, I don't want to have to use this. I need to keep the peace though. All right, you guys need to be friendly. No, no, I'm not using it. You guys need to be friends though. Okay. I need you to all like hug it out real quick. I need to, I need to capture this moment. Come here, come here, you with the bow. Come over here. No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot, don't. He's not friendly, he's not friendly. Yeah, tell your friend to stop, man. Get your mans. All right, yeah, friendly, 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 friendly. Okay, okay. Oh. Friendly, friendly. Yeah. This is worse than Russia versus Ukraine, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. There's too much. Friendly, the other one shoots. Oh my lord. Watch this, dude. Come on, bro. I actually, I respect the attempt. They, they, I respect they, they the attempt. Really come on, you can't, you can't try to make a play on me. Like, I respect the play, but come on now, come on now. I didn't know you could actually tame uh, Desmodos over here, so it might actually be worth it for me to try to tame. Uh, to tame one, like, I'm already here. Alright, man, hopefully you and your boy are safe. I did my best yeah. to help you, dude. Your, your boy sounds familiar, dude. Oh. Uh, it might. Where, where do you think you know me from? I think YouTube. Uh, shit, maybe. Maybe. Alright, dude, just have a fun one and uh, see you around. Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate the support, though, bro. My name is Curtis. I knew it was you. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on? Dude, I love your videos, dude. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Dude, I was over here. Um, I was going to scout I was gonna scout this map for some raids, and uh, I spawned, like, on the beach, and I crowd sticked my wyvern, and some dude on a bat came and killed it, and then, like, I killed the dude, and we started talking, and then I was, like, running around trying to find a drop. Then I found your guys' base, and then next thing you know... I'm fighting like 10 naked, so shit, yeah, shit, shit starts popping off pretty quick over here. There, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people around, so just be careful. Yeah, man. Well, I'm gonna transfer off, dude. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy those saddles, man. I appreciate the support, bro. Have a good okay, one, dude. Thank you very much. See Love ya. The videos again. Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> dude, man, dude, I'm cheesing so hard right now, bro. Shout out to that guy. Shout out to that dude. But I gotta get off this server. All right, back to center we go.
And when I went back to center, I got myself a kit to go back to Fjordor because I wanted to do a little bit of scouting, see if I could find something to trade. And then this happened. That's right, boy. I bought my PT. Oh, this is not good, fellas. I'm dead. This is really bad. If I can just shield this? Nah, I'm dead. Oh man, dude. I bullied my P I bullied my Desmo like a like a idiot, dude. Like god man. Alright, well, we're back on center. And you know what guys? I need to get a chem bench and I need to get flamethrowers, dude. Like that fight, if I had a flamethrower there, man, maybe it goes differently. I know he has one too, but if I can just dodge and weave him for a little bit and um just flamethrower him twice, he's dead. Like no one has med bruise. At least most people don't have med bruise and I'd say like same thing for beer. Most people don't have med bruise or beer. So flamethrowers right now are even stronger than they already are. So yeah, I, need, I really need to get a chem bench so I can make flamethrower ammo and start using flamethrowers. So that's exactly what I'm going to work on right now. Alright, chem bench is made. Um, let's see, where are we going to put this? I think if we just demo these and just move all this stuff into the mannequin, we'll have more than enough space uh, to put the chem bench right here. Yeah, perfect. We can put the chem bench. Push as far back as I can. Right there. Boom. Perfect. Turn you off. Put some gas in you. Alright, now it's time. Let's head to Scorched Earth. Um, I can do a lot of things with that. It'll get rid of my Swamp Aids, uh, farm sulfur, and stuff to make flamethrower ammo. And then I might scout it, see if there's some more stuff to raid. But it kind of sucks for looking at a crop pot of dinos. Um, the only fly we have are RGs, so I'm gonna have to bring an RG and fly around with that, which I really don't want to do, but, you know what, uh, when tough times call for desperate measures, uh, you guys, you guys know, you guys know what the, you guys know what I'm saying. Alright, let's get to farming. Ooh, and it's night time. I'll pick up some silk first because I actually need this. I need fiber too, so kind of get two birds with one stone here. All right, here's some sulfur. Nice, dude. There's oil pumps down. Okay, that was the one thing I was kind of worried about was I'm not being able to get oil because I need a lot of it to make uh, propellant. But hopefully these are full. Oh, let's go, dude. They are Perfect. Alright, so we've got everything. We've got oil, sulfur, cactus sap. So we are chilling. That is, oh man, that's amazing. Alright, so let's quickly drop all. It's going to be kind of annoying, but we'll make it work. So let's go cactus. Uh, sulfur can go in here. I need to make sure I save some sulfur, though. Um, I can't move because of the stone. I need to make sure I save some sulfur to make flamethrowers. Because they actually require sulfur themselves. Oil. Okay, boom. We can make... I guess we'll make 100 propellant. Let me take some of this oil, too. Put it in here. Make some gas because we're going to need a lot of that. Alright, so let's quickly loot all this gas. Perfect. Let's go. Make us a flamethrower ammo. So we made 12. Honestly, this, these take a lot of gas, but you don't really need much, especially since, 
since I'm going to be using mostly print flamethrowers. I do have this good one in the fabricator, so that's kind of nice. I don't have to craft one, but... All right, so now that we got flamethrowers, um, I'm going to head back over to Fjord. I need to go, unfortunately, tame more Desmodus because all mine died. Oh, dude, there's a bat right here. I'll take that. Level 90? All right. That makes my life so easy. Let's go, boys. First Desmos tamed. I'm not going to make the same mistake that I keep making. I'm going to tame, like, at least two more so I have a bunch of backups because I keep, I keep getting my Desmodus killed every time I tame one. Oh. Okay, doesn't look, doesn't look like this guy's a whip or anything. Okay, he has a hatchet, but he's missing me with it. Okay, he's dead. Let's see, what level are you? Uh, high enough level to die, that's for sure. And the bat's dead. He just whistled it too, that's unlucky. Let me get the saddle. You just try to bowl at me? I mean, I respect the play, I guess. Wow, dude, alright. I respect the play. I need to net this thing. Cause this bat is almost dead. Come on, man. 140 bat and you're gonna die. Come on, dude. Don't die to a stego. There we go. Boom. So I'm gonna throw this 180 in my upload. And then just keep taming. Try to tame a couple more. Oh, there's a main wing here. Oh, they're taming a stego? I kind of feel bad, but like, come on, I have to do it. <laughs> no, that guy's that guy's fist is. <laughs> no, I know he's 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 bad. Okay, if I can get this mana guy to come land, I mean, I can net him and then just flame demon him. All right, come on. Oh. That's actually really unlucky for this guy. Oh, he's right here. And that is why flamethrowers are so OP, man. They're so strong. Right, let's check this dude's body. Cause I'm pretty sure this is his body right here. I don't think he had a Fjord Hawk. No, we did not. Okay, good flag. Boots, long neck, cooked meat, take the tranks, parachutes, crowd pods. Okay, the rest of the stuff I don't care about. Alright, that's a pretty that's a pretty big play, not gonna lie. That's unlucky for that guy. But he whistled neutral on his mana, which is annoying. There we go, man. It's dead. I'll take the saddle. Oh, 135. Oh, dude. Let's go. Oh, there's two. Oh. Okay. I need to just kite this, kite this fellow away. Bruh, what? Oh, it TP'd me so far away. That's so annoying. Yeah, so we got it tamed, but now we gotta find where our Desmodus is. Oh, nice. There's so many dinos on it. Nice, dude. Wonderful. Oh, 
All right, here we go. It's right here. All right. All right. So that is now the fourth Desmodus. So we should honestly be good for now. And for now, that's probably going to be like, I don't know, an hour until I have to come and tame more. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cry this bad boy up. And I want to finish scouting this server and try to find something to raid. And if not, we'll head home. All right, so unfortunately, I didn't really find any good raid targets. So I went back to center and I tossed out the dolphin. That way, it could give us some levels. And I decided that I'd head over to Crystal Isles and go farm the blueprint cave. And after doing the blueprint run, I returned back to base. I tossed out the stegos to breed them again, and I also queued up some fence supports. That way I could put them down to make my base even harder to raid. So if you're watching my Small Shot Season 3 series, then you'd know that I built in this base bot, and it almost got wiped by tech grenades. So I wanted to put up some fence supports just to be annoying. I know that this is like day two of the Arpoc wipe, so I'm not really too worried about tribes having tech grenades just yet. But uh, yeah, I wanted to put these fence supports up anyways. Alright, so now guys, we're parachuting over to Green Knob. I'm gonna head over to Gen 2, and I want to tame a couple Bloodstalkers. Um, just because, honestly, I really like Bloodstalkers, and it's gonna be really helpful for me to scout Aberration. Alright, let's farm some Blood Packs, and get a couple of Bloodstalkers tamed. Let's go, baby. Get the first Bloodstalker tamed. What are the stats? 250 melee? Okay, that's not that. That could be worse. What's the guy here? Oh, it's heavy. Uh, man, this dude had nothing and he gave me swamp fever, dude. Come on. That's so... Bruh. Oh, nice. Did we find a male? 145? Perfect. So we have two high-level Bloodstalkers, different genders. All right, I'm going to kill these Scorpions. I'll get this bad boy tamed up. Oh, come on, Mr. Theory. Please turn around. Seriously? Come on, man. No. Bastard, dude, this f***ing bastard. There's two theories? Come on, dude. Do me a f***ing solid. God, that's so annoying. Okay. That's actually kind of, alright, the mining drill's kind of nice, not gonna lie. I'm tilting a little bit here, but that mining drill kind of makes me happy. All right, well, I'm back at base. I depoted everything. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the blood soccer over to Ab and hopefully we can find something to raid. What is this? Okay, that spot has nothing. So this guy has no turrets. Couple of shadow mains. Is that a baby shadow main? Got this door open. A lot of metal. Bunch of fiber. I'll take that. What is this base design, dude? You can't even access this pestle. Wait, what's this? Storage boxes here? Oh, yes. Oh, there's, there's certs. 
Oh man. I didn't see those turrets. Those are heavies. Wait, does he know that there's two sides to this? Well, let me put um, full flak on for this. Be careful coming over here. Okay, so he has a... Yeah, that's a heavy. Oh, man, dude. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Those are heavies. I want to get a tribe name, though. Come on, let me spyglass you. Oh, there is so much metal in here. He hasn't been in 15 minutes. I think, honestly, I have this decent shield. It's only one heavy turret. I might be able to make this. So I'm going to put a bag down here. I don't know if I have enough C4, though. That's going to be... I can blow into the wall, and that's about it. So let me put my kit in here. Take a couple blood packs. If I run here. Okay. It's actually, I can use these pillars to line aside for me. If I just go like this. Boom. It is pink coated. Boom. Um, okay, I need to get uh, a melee weapon. Pike, that will work. Just gotta break the junction box, then we're good. Okay, all the turrets off. Oh, these are loaded on ARB. Okay, so I'm gonna put the fiber. Definitely gonna put the fiber away. I'll take this. Bunch of paste. Okay, good simple pistol. That's worth some grapples. Encoded. Got this camp bench. Okay. Oh my, let's go, dude. That's actually big. Bunch of electronics. This is this is huge loot. I'm not gonna be able to take all of it though. Oh man. Fiber can just go in here. Dude, I want to take all of this. Okay, Parasaur, Crowd Pods, Crossbow BP. Okay, in here. Um, I'll take the Quetz Plat. Take the soups. Silk, I'll take. Uh, That's other stuff I don't really care about. Okay, um, nothing really in here, honestly. I'll take the fed gauntlets. Sleeping bags, I'll place these. Okay, his beds are gone. Oh, man, he has so many heavies, too. I'm pretty sure they're all pink coated. I want to blow them up, but I don't know if I'm going to be... I don't, I'm out of C4, so unless they're not pink coated, I can't. I can't. Break them. Wait, did he dip on his crab? Where does crab go? I bet you these are full of metal. Okay, it's not just metal. Yeah, this guy actually did with this crab. Okay, this. Uh, I guess I'll take the long neck BP. Yeah, this dude straight bounced. Yeah, these are all pink coated. Man. Oh, there's so much ammo in them. I want to blow them up, but <laughs> I don't have C4. Did he die? That's his crab. Wait, did he? No way. Did he Did he actually die? Yeah, I think he died. Is that, uh, is that that's got to be his item cache down there. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so the dude died. And I broke all of his bed, so that unless he has bags close by, he's screwed. Alright, I wanna check this dude's body. And another parasaur? What's up with this guy on parasaurs, dude? 
Uh, the rest of the stuff, I don't care about that stuff. Shine horn. Okay, I mean, I don't think, I don't really care to kill his dinos, honestly. So I'm probably just going to leave them here. But I want to try to get as much of this loot as I can. I'm thinking that I might toss out these parasaurs and um, just fill them up with as much loot as I can and then just whistle them to a drop or something. But I'm going to have to come back with C4 to break their, uh, um, to break the rest of their turrets because they're loaded on ammo. Alright, so with their foundation broken, we should be able to put down ours. Yeah, I'm going to put it as close as I can to their base. Right here. So I'm just going to make a fabricator. Uh, let me make a pestle. Okay, I just need some stone. But yeah, I'm just going to make a fabricator and um, try to craft as much C4 as I can. Okay, so we have hide. Fiber. Poly. Okay, charcoal needs to go in here. So I GP. Pastes, electronics. Okay, C4, yeah. Crystal, okay, I have that in the blood soccer. Okay, perfect. We have everything to make C4. All we need to just all we need to do is just wait for this gunpowder to finish. And uh yeah, we'll be able to make uh, a handful of C4. Oh, let's go, dude. These guys are this is so much ammo. This is gonna be like I don't even know. Maybe close to 2k, which is huge, man. All right, so this is what we're leaving with. Yeah, so over 2k ARB, almost 2400, which is, as I said, that is a lot of ammo um, this early into wipe. Um, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get this stuff home because, yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to whistle the parasaur and walk it out of the blue zone without it dying. I don't, I don't think that's really happening. All right, so I made it to a drop. I'm gonna leave my kit in the blood soccer and this is what I'm bringing home with me so not a bad haul and there's still a bunch more stuff for me to grab yeah timer just hit just gonna make sure that everything okay I'm making just wanna make sure I leave like my whole kit here I don't bring any of it back to center I think we're good though so let's transfer off and go home alright so we're not getting raided first thing I'm gonna do put this ammo in turrets yeah, we are looking pretty good on ammo now, guys. I don't really care to make it too even. I'm gonna try my best, though. And some of these are actually really off. But whatever. There's more ammo on you. Alright, that's the stuff I'm just gonna dump. I'll just transfer all into here. And the rest of it will go in here. Alright, let's head back to Ab. Okay, so now that we're back here, I want to make batteries. So I know that these guys have... Congealed gas balls, yeah. This one has congealed gas balls. Yeah, batteries are so important, so I'm definitely gonna want to try to make as many as I can while I'm here. Oh, we can make eight. Okay, awesome. What are we missing? Um, oh, just gas balls. Wait, no, it's not gonna be gas balls. What's it gonna be? Um, oh, polymer. Wait, but there's is there more poly somewhere? I think. I don't know if there's more poly anywhere. Uh, but you know, that's right. Eight is quite a lot that's that's a decent amount of batteries all right i think it's finally time to leave i got all the extra scraps and uh yeah so overall man this was such a this was so profitable i used uh, a little bit of c4 but man that was a huge return on investment okay i've got some manas in here what's this I don't think I see any turrets. I'm gonna put some flak on though, just in case. Oh, this is gonna be loaded. Yeah, sure, okay. A little bit of ARB. All right, I'm gonna try to break these beds. Yeah, I'm just gonna break the beds. What about these manas? 71. 22. Okay, so they're low level manas. There's so many pestles here, man. Oh my. Oh my. The gunpowder. Holy shit. 
Dude. This is loaded. Oh, this dude, what can I even do? You know what, if I get a turret from these guys, if I can make a turret, I have batteries. I saw a little bit of ammo in one of those boxes. I could put down like a battery turret. That would be big. Okay, a flamethrower, I'll take that. Tech canteen, that's actually Oh dude, dude, there's so much loot. Yes, a turret. Oh my, let's go, dude. <laughs> okay, we got a turret down at least, so that's that's something. Right, I'm gonna try to loot the most valuable stuff, man. This guy, he's making some like the gunpowder though. I can't, like that's crazy, dude. The amount of gunpowder that dude's making. Okay, there's take a long neck BP electronics. Um. Just looking after the most valuable stuff right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything too crazy. On this box. Okay, fabricator. That's... Or not fabricator. Fabricated sniper. That's pretty big. Um, seeping bag. Put that down in here. Okay, I'm going to craft... Some ammo, some fab bullets, so I can actually use this thing. Um, I don't know. I don't want to kill their dinos just yet. I see that they have some sleepers here. Oh wait, this guy's dead. Oh, I thought those were I thought those were fjord hawks at first, but no, they're just dead bodies. I don't know where this guy is, so I'm trying to be trying to be careful here. I don't want to alert him just yet. Okay, so what's interesting to me too is they don't. I haven't seen any crowd potted dinos yet. Which, unless I'm missing something, unless I'm missing a box, yeah, I don't see any crowd potted dinos. So let me see, I have a parasol. I mean, let me toss this out. Maybe they have something buried. Let me not crow it. Put it on high. See if it's pinging anything else. Okay, it's pinging something back here. What's that? Is this something buried? It is something buried. Oh my god, dude. How do I get this out? How can I? I mean, I guess let me make a torch and see if it's a Pelovia. Hopefully it's not a Reaper or a Basilisk. Oh, it is a Basilisk. Oh my god, dude. Okay, what's the... I guess... I guess, yeah, I'll kill it with my Bloodstock. What level is it? Okay, level 30 is going to die really quick. Oh man, please. Let's go! Let's go, dude. This thing's loaded. Let's go. We got Manas, Shadow Mane, Anki Doed, Stego. Let's go, dude. That's so that's huge, man. That is so huge. Put put these bags down. We got a forest field. I can't even put that down. I want oh really good fur, dude. Oh man. Shotgun blueprint. Stego saddle blueprint. Um oh flak. Dude, flak blueprints? How did I miss out on that? Oh my god, dude. I'm so hyped. Uh, f I guess I'll, I'll take the fed gauntlets. Dude, that's such big loot, man. Okay, that's all their mana's dead. I'm just gonna level weight into this thing, because I don't really know how else we're gonna get all this loot out of here, man. There's so much stuff to take. Okay, you know what? It is nighttime right now, and the t timer did roll on here, so I should be able to loot one. Of I should be able to use one of these drops and upload. Let's see, okay, we gotta be pretty fast about this. Load the blueprints. Holy, oh my god, dude. Alright, oh, I almost died. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, let's put Stego, Mana, Shadow Main, PT. Okay, I hear Nameless spawning. 
He said ESP, dude. Yeah, ESP, man. I'll put all the heavy stuff so I can move. Okay, I'm getting low HP. Okay, we uploaded a lot of the valuable stuff. Dude, I love how this guy thinks it's ESP. Like, you built in red surface entrance, dude. ESP what? This isn't like some tiny rat hole like in the mesh or something like that. You literally built in a surface... A surface entrance. Like, I don't know what this guy is even talking like. I don't know, man. Like, like I don't think this is one of those moments where you can say ESP. Dude, it's crazy. Every single one of these pestles has 600 spark powder in it. And this dude didn't put up a single turret. This dude had a turret in a box with ammo. I saw a generator, cables, everything. Dude could have put up a turret and chose not to, man. Like, there, you, you, like, you can't fault me for that. Like, I don't understand. Guys, if you ever have a turret, if you, if you ever build a base and you have a turret in a box, please place it down. At the very least, place it down. You don't even have to power it and put ammo in it. You should do that. But at the very least, just put the turret down. Like, he literally just left it in a box for me to come and take it. Like, I don't know, man. This is... It's just like, I just, like this is just so like low IQ that it, it like kind of hurts. Alright, y'all. It's time to get out of here. I got the Parasaur. I'll grab the electronics. I'll just leave the rest queuing up. So, yeah. Here's um, kind of what we're leaving with. I already threw like the flak blueprints and crop out of on my upload. But we got 400 shotgun shells, which is great because that will be very helpful. Um, and that will allow us to do boss fights. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of resources. Some of this stuff is from the other base. I think, honestly, the, the, obviously the best loot that I got from this base already uploaded. So, yeah, let's grab the turret and let's bounce. Okay, we can still move. Barely, but we can. Okay, I'll take on this. Now I'll show you guys to see. You can finally take a look at the loot. So yeah, the flak blueprints are huge. And I saw this tech sego, which was, yeah. So 19k HP female tech sego. Um, I don't know what the base stats are, but this is probably really good. The only problem is that I don't have a male, so I'd have to go tame a male to breed them. But we got a P2, which is trash. The mana is just wild tame. It's kind of decent. Uh, yeah, the Doa and Anki are, they're okay. I don't really see myself farming, though, with them. The Shadow Man's nice. The Flamethrowers. Zygo Saddle BP is another... Uh, that's an upgrade from what we already have. Uh, the force shield would be nice, but I can't use it. And, uh, yeah, so overall, man, I mean, that raid was super profitable. I literally didn't use anything for that. Okay, so for flak, we almost have a full set of BPs, man. We're only missing, uh... We're only missing boots, and then we have a full set. That's actually really nice. We are gonna need more space in this base, man. But let's toss out this Sego. I still can't move. Yeah, this is a good stego, and it has a 60 armor saddle on it. Yeah, this is this is probably a pretty good stego, but I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can really be be asked to go tame a male. That's a, that's a, a lot of work. All right, let's try to make these two normal turrets and the heavies. So let's take some of this pace out of here. We got a bunch of metal. All right, perfect. Two more heavies. All right, let's spread the ammo around a little bit. Let's get all these heavies to 600 flat, and then I'll see how much more. Okay, so these all have 600. We've got a little under 400 bullets left. I'm about to demolish this forge. Can I put a mannequin back here? Oh, come on. Show, show up green. Wait, I could put it... Hold on, it was green there for a second. Oh. Come on, show green again. Right there. I mean, I guess that works. It's kind of scuffed, but... <laughs> I mean... I can access it. And it does block the outlet, so I mean... It does its job. Alright, I'm gonna toss out the itchy. Let's head back to Crystal Isles. I wanna run more blueprints, uh, cause honestly, I wanna find a better Psycho Settle BP. Oh, here we go. Finally, I found the Leo Pluridon. Okay, 
Give me that buff, boy. Oh, no way. Come on. What is that? I get picked and sent all the way back here? Bro, what? Alright, so after that happens, I wouldn't say I was the happiest camper, but I didn't want to give up on the day, so I decided that I'd head over to Gen 2 and do a little bit of scouting and see if we could find something to raid. Ooh, dude, this base. This is such an easy hatch train, Quetzal. What are there? Hmm. This might be a little difficult though if they're online. Is anybody? Oh, it's an English tribe. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait, they haven't been here in an hour. Do you can legit land up here? What is this? There's a mech? Are those turrets some power? What is this? Dude, those are normal. That's a normal turret. What, e what even is this, dude? What is this guy doing? Dude, what is this guy doing? Oh yeah, we're spawning back in. I'm going back to that. I have no clue. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're gonna go back to that base. I have no clue what that was. That guy has a mech, dinos, and like a couple of normal turrets. And he turned his generator off. Like, I, I that guy doesn't know what game he's playing, man. I have no clue. Alright, so we're pulling back up. I'm pretty curious as if he even got his turrets back up. If I had to guess, he didn't. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to find out, though. Is that a j yeah, he did get his turrets back up. Alright, so we're back again. Now I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to get to this generator. So he's got really bad line of sight. So I can get behind the mech again, no problem. But it's gonna be kind of difficult to break the generator again. Unless I can get him to just be a dumbass and turn it off. Or I can just do this. Hmm, so this is interesting because I could. If I go over here? No, no, not that far. Maybe I guess Fabricator? Okay, Fabricator's broken. So now if I get his gen down. Turn it off. Perfect, there we go. Now he's screwed. Let me kite his dinos away and then I'll work on trying to kill him. He's on their tech rex. Dude, I want to punch him so bad. Get back on the rex, yep. Just like that. Ooh. Alright, well. That shit was kind of poor. That's stuff I don't really care about. To no surprise, the turrets aren't pink coated. We're sitting here looting all this shit too. This is so funny. These guys are so oblivious, man. Let's see what's in the smithy. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm low. Okay, I killed one. It might have only been one of them. Maybe I'm chipping. 
They just don't really have much. I'm so confused. Where did they get the mech? I mean, they obviously got gifted the mech. But, like, who's gifting these guys a mech? Okay, this is going to be where the true loot is. Wow, there actually is some stuff here. Forest field, tape saddle, fabricator. I guess, I guess and it's not really anything crazy. Um, yeah, this is, I, honestly, this is really kind of, like, uh, that's like three drops worth of loot. But you know what, I will take, I will take this wooden stuff. Let me just popcorn it all, then I'll come grab it. Alright, well, that was a, a very interesting find. A little bit of ARB, some metal, some wood, some spark powder. Um, I'd say that's some pretty easy profit. I l didn't use a single thing for that. Alright, well, it's been a super productive day. But, uh, I'm gonna sort out all this loot. And I get off the night. Alright, we're logging back in. Hopefully we are not raided. Uh, no. It doesn't look like we're raided. Where's my kit, though? That's a real question. Wait, what? Dude, where's my kit? I logged out with the kit. Oh, it's in... Oh, right, never mind. Yeah, my kit is in here because I'm an idiot. Alright, well, um, this is going to be a little little bit of a change. So one of my friends is actually going to be joining me. Um, he was playing last night while I was sleeping. And he found, like, uh, something on Gen 2. He found a vent with one heavy turret guarding it and it had an exposed generator so it just flame arrowed it and he got a bunch of resources out of it so uh, yeah i'm gonna go trap him up right now um and uh yeah where are you oops i'm coming there <laughs> okay i'm up on like a pillar no, i see you i see you stay there uh, yeah yeah i see you you want me to drop all or what uh yeah i can do like the back thing to pick it all up there you go, buddy. Sheesh, I should dude. let me my flame arrows. Loaded. Exactly, bro. No, no, you need to do Boon Mother. Protect her. Oh, man. So you have to do... You can do... You can do the island boss with shotguns, but the problem is that you need... You need more than two people. You can't do... Like, the island boss is way easier to farm than center. The tributes. Mm. But the, the boss for the island has way more HP than center. So you can't do it with just... I just gotta loot drops, hold on. But I smack the shit this guy. I but killed don't him. die. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, you, you know how I'd be. I'd be loaded. I'm still out here looting drops. Like, come on. <laughs> Wake up. Uh, but yeah, it's, the center boss fight, is, it's it's annoying to farm for, but it's really easy to do. Alright, so after I killed that guy, I went back to center, dropped off the loot, and then I went to blue up and tried up Zozo. And unfortunately, this is where the story ends. So after tribing up Zozo, I had to get off for the day. And when I logged online in the morning, we were raided. The guys that raided me actually used trikes to soak, which I didn't even think about. You could just barely fit the trike at the entrance of the rat hole and use it to soak. And as you guys can see, I'm in single player here. And the trike is basically floating and somehow manages to stay on the ledge and not fall off. So GG to the guys who raided me. As I'm always offline raiding players, I gotta sometimes die by the sword if I want to live by it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And thank you again for 80k subscribers.